in the book, it ain't going on. Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am bringing you a I don't know how to title this video yet, but basically I'm going to tell you guys all of the things that I bought and I, that I actually use for occupational therapy school. If you don't know, I am an occupational therapy student, occupational therapy assistant student, and um, I just started this program a few weeks ago and I absolutely love it. If you don't know what occupational therapy is, go ahead and look it up, girl. We the best. No, I'm just kidding. Occupational therapy to me means that I am helping people regain confidence in being able to do their everyday life activities again. So mostly I'll be working with either like stroke patients or autistic kids or kids that are on the spectrum. Um, honestly, I'm not sure which field I wanna go into yet. If I wanna go into peds or geriatrics or sports med, I have no idea, but that is what occupational therapy is and that's kind of my like brief definition to it. If you guys want to know more about it, go ahead and look into it or I can do a separate video on it. But that's not what we're here for today. Today we are here to talk about the things that I bought and that I actually use every single day while I'm in OT school. So the first things first, this is gonna be kind of obvious, but a planner. I use this every single day. A weekly planner to me, is essential. I'm the type of person that needs to write things down. If I don't write it down, it's gone. It's not sticking in my head. I'm not going to remember it. It's gone. So this one I got from Ross before I started school. I actually went shopping with like my best friends and we all picked out planners. Um, it's just this really cute marble one and you don't have to get a cute one, but I definitely recommend you getting a cute one because it'll make you actually use it more if you're into like aesthetics and stuff like that. So this is the inside of it. It didn't actually come with these stickers, but it, how cute is this pink color? Highly recommend go ahead and grabbing you some stickers. I will link some down below off of Amazon. They're super affordable, super cheap, and they just kind of make your planner look a little bit cuter. So these ones just say like, do today. There's a couple coffee cups on here. There's some stars, there's some birthdays. There's exercise, grateful. And you just put them on the days that you're gonna be grateful or exercise or whatever the sticker pertains to. It does have just like a monthly overview, like every planner does. And then what I really like is it has every month the holidays, important dates, birthdays, appointments, goals, and then just like a brief overview of the next three months. I really like that. I'm a person, like I said, that needs to write it down. Um, and I write down my affirmations here. I write down any notes that I need for the month. This is kind of my like mind dump space, which I really like having that in a planner. And then I put a little clip on mine just so I could keep it open to the day, but this is um, kind of a brief overview of my week. I write down everything. It is color coordinated per um, which class I'm in. So like red is for math, uh, purple is for communications and so on and so forth. So everything I have due is in there. And then I write all of the shifts that I'm gonna work in black. I do work two jobs and I go to school. So my life revolves around this planner. If it's not in the planner, it's not happening. Let's just say that if you ain't in the book, it ain't going on. The next thing I bought is another kind of um, more obvious purchase, but it totally depends on which program you're in on the style and the colors that you can wear. So I bought some scrub bottoms and I've actually gone through a few scrub bottoms. I ordered most of them on Amazon, but it's not as easy as it looks, man. It's not as easy as it looks to find cute scrub bottoms that actually fit and are comfortable. So I'm gonna recommend my top three brands. So my first pair of scrubs are um, these figs. These ones I you can get on Amazon, but I just got them right off the figs website. Actually, Caleb bought these for me. And these are my like, congratulations, you got into occupational therapy assisting school scrubs from him. And very, very comfortable. I got these in a tall and I kind of wish I would have got them in a regular, but um, I still like them. They're the jogger style, very, very cute. And the next pair of scrubs I got are this pair of medcore scrubs. I actually saw a girl in my class that had these on and she looked really freaking cute in them. So I was like, boom, that's it, that's all I needed. I went ahead and bought them on Amazon and I'm pretty sure they were like 40, $45, which is a little bit pricey, but these are my favorite out of all of them because they're extremely comfortable. And all of these scrubs kind of have that wicking material. So if they get wet, you don't have to worry about them like soaking up any liquids. My last pair of scrubs are my most affordable pair. These are a pair of Cherokees. Oh, they're very dusty. These are not a jogger style. These are just a regular pant style. And I like these. I typically wear these kind of when I run out of scrubs to wear um, because they're not my 
favorite. They're a little bit more constricting, not as stretchy, and they're not a jogger style, so they're not as cute. But honestly, patients don't care whether your scrubs are cute or not. They're more for you. So the $20 Cherokee workwear, they work, they get the job done, and they're super comfortable. Okay, the next thing that I got for school or that I actually was gifted this, but I use it all the freaking time, is my laptop. This is the uh, Gateway laptop. I don't know the exact style or name of it, so I will go ahead and link it down below. I know for sure you can get it on Amazon, but my dad, he's an engineer and works for Intel, and so I just went ahead and let him go ahead and pick out the specs and all of the stuff for the laptop. He knew exactly what I needed, so I just was like, Dad, go ahead and get... You do... Do what you spoke, you do it. He got me this one, which he knows me so well. Of course it's pink, um, which is my favorite color. So yeah, I use this all the freaking time. And what's funny is that I don't know if I'm old school or if I've just been out of school for so long, but I love school supply shopping. So I went to Walmart and I got like six notebooks in different colors. I got pens, I got highlighters. And girl, I can tell you that I've used maybe two of those notebooks and maybe one of those highlighters everything is done digitally now like the other day we had to screenshot an assignment and upload it screenshot an assignment from our phones and upload it i'm like wow we are really living in the new world we're living in technology i love it here and then this kind of goes with my laptop so i'm just going to briefly go over this this is my computer bag i love this computer bag i got it off of amazon and it wasn't super affordable because i didn't have like a huge school budget but um, this is what it looks like on the inside. And what I like about it is that I can fold it completely in half so I can sit my laptop on top of it so I'm not having to put my laptop on the table where it can get scuffed and scratched. Next thing that I got a little bit later that I really, really use every single day are hoodies. And not just any hoodies, zip up hoodies, fleece lined zip up hoodies. Now, when I tell you a lab can get cold i don't just mean like oh it's a little nippy in here no it is freezing in these rooms they come in and turn the temperature down it's like they store on bodies in there honestly so i went ahead and picked up two more hoodies i had a few but they were kind of pullover hoodies and i find that these are easier because the temperature does change when i'm going inside and outside i live in arizona so it's very hot outside and the air conditioning is always on antarctica inside so a zip up hoodie is nice for me because i can take it on and off easily and i'm not having to put it over my hair so yeah, I just went ahead and picked up two more. I actually just got these ones in. These are from Shein, very affordable. I think I got these for like, definitely under 20 bucks, but I wanna say like 10 or $12. I got this white one, which has the fleece inside, of course. And then I got this really cute pink one as well. Okay, this is the second to last thing that I'm gonna show you guys, which is my backpack. I had a backpack the first day of school and it was just like a cheap little Walmart backpack. Didn't think I would need anything more than that. But girl, when I tell you the strap broke from my anatomy book on the first day of school, and I was crushed. It is super roomy and... Oh no, she didn't. But yes, lots of compartments on the inside, and then it also just has this compartment on the outside. And girl, when I tell you this backpack has been saving my lower back, getting a good backpack is so important. And this one um, comes with a charger, so... You gotta love that, it comes with a little cord inside. So I will go ahead and link this on Amazon. My mom did get me this backpack because she's a nurse and she knows all about those things. But I will go ahead and try to find this or something similar to this and link it down below for you guys. One more thing, and this is honestly not something I bought for OT school, but this is something that I use every single day that I think kind of just helps me get through OT school. So this is my anxiety journal. Um, this one I got from Amazon and I write in it every single day. It has little prompts that Kind of just free up your mind and they, they they kind of give you a little bit more peace in all the chaos that's happening i do this every single morning and while i'm eating breakfast it's super super quick i'll just do a page and then i'm good to go for the day um it just kind of slows you down there's a lot going on in the world and there's a lot going on when you're a student and you have you know work and everything like that so to have something even if it's not an anxiety journal but to have something that you can just stop and do that kind of you know recenters yourself is super super important if you guys did like this video go ahead and hit the like button that just lets me know you like it and to keep creating content more geared towards this and then if you guys want to join the squad go ahead and hit the subscribe button because that's going to just make you join our little family honestly 
I never thought I'd get this far. We have over 400 subscribers and that is crazy to me. So I would love to keep it pushing, keep it moving and add more people to the family. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up my video for today. I will see you guys very soon in a brand new one. And I love you guys so much. Bye guys.